So hypoparathyroidism is a rare endocrine disease. Endocrine, this means there is a hormonal dysregulation. What happens in those patients, they have a, a deficiency in a, in a hormone called the parathyroid hormone, PTH. Uh, this hormone is uh, secreted by the so-called parathyroid glands that are located close to the thyroid glands. And this is a very important hormone for the regulation of calcium. Basically, PTH regulates calcium levels in the blood and calcium in the bone, which is as well very important. Uh, so those patients have uh, PTH deficiency most of the time resulting from uh, thyroid surgery. Uh, there's a lot of thyroid surgery and uh, a very small fraction of patients at the same time as the surgeon removes the thyroid, it also removes the parathyroid glands. And those patients uh, have a PTH deficiency when it comes to the chronic level. Those patients have hard times to uh, control their calcemia, calcium in the blood. So they have chronic hypocalcemia. And this is associated with uh, uh, severe symptoms. Uh, uh, if, if left untreated, they, they die because calcium is very important for, for, for every organ, every cell to, uh, to, to live normally. Uh, but when they are managed with uh, uh, calcium supplementation, they cannot control very well calcium levels. They have uh, quite severe symptoms. Uh, neuromuscular symptoms and cognitive symptoms. So they have uh, cramps, they have uh, muscle pain, 24 hour a day. And the cognitive symptoms, the, um, the physicians call that the brain fog. They have a hard time to concentrate and it dramatically uh, affects their, not only the quality of life, but their capability of living normally. In addition to that, so this is a short-term symptom, the patients live all day long with that, so it has a major impact on their capability to have a normal job, to have a normal daily living. In addition to that, with time, uh, because those patients, the conventional treatment is uh, calcium and vitamin D uh, supplementation, uh, the, all the calcium uh, tablets those patients are taking is eliminated by the uh, by the kidney, goes in the urine. So they have high urine calcium uh, levels. So with time, it develops into uh, uh, kidney disease and chronic kidney disease, kidney stone. So they have five-fold more chance to develop chronic disease than the normal population. So this is a, a quite severe, um, severe um, uh, disease in those patients with a treated with a conventional treatment. 